y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my end of year flip for my Louis Vuitton medium ring or MM agenda. So I really want to go through changes that I made throughout the year, what I've learned in preparation for the 2023 setup, which will be coming out soon. So um, this planner started off as just a daily planner. That's how I ended the like, year in 2021. And for the first part, I think of 2022, I want to say the first half, I used this as a daily planner. And so I had my daily inserts and I purchased them dated because it's always cheaper to get them dated, FYI. But I was just like, okay, well, I can get them dated because this, I have my daily planner. I'm only going to use this as a daily planner. And then um, I have had a lot happen this year. So I did change jobs, which impacted how I planned. And I think just at the beginning of the year where I was at, I wasn't really using it. And I decided to add more to it. So I've added some weekly inserts in here. Didn't really like those. Um, it was the week on two page inserts from Infinite Lotus and it just it didn't fit and I'm trying not to repeat too much in each planner because then I'll gravitate towards one set of insert and then I won't use it and when an entire planner is filled with things I don't use that's when you neglect your planner and so everything needs to have a purpose and um, and that's one of the things that I always recommend if you want to use multiple planners is make sure everything has a purpose and it's not just a lot of repeat information because that's when um, multiple planning just doesn't work and so I ended up just starting to use these for work and that's how I currently use them and I love it with my new job and so I ordered the half hour inserts for the 2023 setup which again will be a different video but I still have my daily plans in here but really this turned from my daily planner to my supplemental planner to my GM agenda and I like calling it that because it's just a little breakdown and a little bit more in depth of all of my ongoing plans including my hourly inserts, which is probably my most used inserts in this planner because I'm an hourly person and every time I put them in the GM, I always ended up switching them around or trying something new and that's just because I just didn't like the size and that's what I noticed is there's certain inserts that I just don't like the size and so if you notice that you're switching things up a little too frequently, maybe try a different size planner. Obviously, you don't need to get like a Louis Vuitton agenda. Like there's plenty on like cloth and paper and Amazon. If you want to try a personal size or a GM and see if maybe it's just the size of the planner that's affecting your planning style. That's what I've always noticed. And I like being able to um, bounce back and forth between the two. And so... The biggest thing I learned is that I really like having my hourly in the personal size because it's just the perfect size. So we have that and then this is just an overview of everything going on including work and content. So I really wanted to add content in here and I did try a lot of inserts with those too. I feel like this year this planner was just a lot of trial and error but ever since I purchased this planner I've used it for so many different things just trying to find a balance and just try and find something that it like will work and not indefinitely but you know just work where I don't feel the need to change it all the time and this setup I've kept for what several months I think now if you all been watching the plan with me so I really feel like I have a good setup and so I'm just gonna be tweaking a few things in the upcoming year but this planner has just been so much it was my first Louis Vuitton agenda and my first agenda ever and it's been my wallet, it's been my finance planner, it's been my daily planner, it's been my work planner, it's been a content planner. It's been so much. Now it's really just supplemental because I have so many important inserts in here and it has a purpose. So we have my schedule and then we have my professional inserts, which are those daily. And then we have my content planning section, which is under finances. And so this is broken down in several ways. And this is the only thing that I plan on really tweaking aside from types of inserts in this planner. So I have the month on one page inserts from Infinite Lotus, and I really love this for content planning. So I do think I'm going to keep this, but I do think I'm going to take out the inbox and the outbox and just keep it simple maybe just swap out the projects for the month on one page because I use these for collaborations and notes but realistically I fill them out but I don't really use them for the collaborations I'll like write it in there just have a reminder of the date 
but that's it. Like I don't really go in anymore. I used to, but I feel like I just haven't done it my last few collaborations. I'm just going to take this out um, and then leave it like as is. But I do want to keep the notes section here because like this, for example, is a list of videos that I want to do. And that way too, if I need to take notes on a collaboration or on a video that I'm taking, um, I'll have that all written down here. So yeah, that is the little overview and the flip of this planner and changes made throughout the year slash the current setup before we go in. I do want to add a monthly section to this planner as well. I think that's the only thing that's really missing. I just haven't decided where. Um, again, that will just all be in that setup video. But yeah, other than that, that is my MM agenda and that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.